Hey guys, welcome back to Fruitopia Winter Edition. Yeah, it's winter, but guys, look how pretty it is. Whoa, nice. My least favorite season, um, but it's a double edged sword <laughs> because winter is also the time that. Uh, we get a chance to rest, both Kim and I, right? Her in the kitchen and me in the garden. However, even so, there's work to be done. I've been um, doing maintenance today in the garden. And the way I do garden maintenance in winter is spread out. It's ongoing. I don't do everything in one day or one week or one month. I do it over three to four months, guys. So, I just finished uh, trimming the jasmine hedge, which you'll see shortly, and uh, putting all the cuttings around various trees. Um, right here. Beautiful day, beautiful day. That hedge there. See, I wait for nice sunny weather. To come out here and work so that now has been reduced by um, ooh, six to ten inches off the top up there because this fence guys it's on its last legs it's been like uh, tilting for the last 10 15 years but it's hanging in there so so long as it hangs in there and I had to put in I had to put in a um, um, Star pickets, right? Just in case there was a... You know that gust that knocked down my ice cream bean tree? Those gusts. <laughs> One, boof, and it's down. So that's just added support. So yeah, that's the uh, the job there. And I also trimmed the, the fern, which is 30 years old. It's a 30-year-old fern outside the laundry. And this is the nasty, be, be very careful of this guys. This is the um, nasty ivy. Very, very nasty. I've, I try to control it as much as I can. Um, but it's impossible to remove. To remove this ivy, I have to remove the whole fern. Th that's how much of a boss this is. You have to take everything out around it, not just it. Doesn't work, I've tried it. It's so nasty that the... Uh, the, 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 these guys here, the leaders, they go down into the drain. They go down into the drain, guys. The ultimate nasty vine. Be careful of the jasmine. Yeah, I have to watch it every, well, all year round. So, that's the job again, the jasmine vine. This one here flowers in August. Late winter, early spring. I've had it for 24 years, right? So it's a beautiful um, fragrance of sweet um, odor, right? Throughout um, late, late winter and early spring. So I just fed the, the two guavas here, the cuttings, right? The Thai guava and the red ruby red guava. So they got fed and uh, I pruned uh, the red daca banana which was still waiting for a flower after Jesus 15 years <laughs> 15 years and it hasn't flowered not this one but it's great 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 grandmother which was planted somewhere else right this is just an offspring that's been here for even this has been here for I would say eight years eight years and it hasn't um, flowered unreal huh how's that for patience guys yeah so the red decker will it ever fruit will it ever flower will it ever 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 well we'll see that is the uh, that and the Cavendish are the only ones that I've never had flowers from so um, in July I'm gonna trim or remove this choco because it's a real pain 
as I've said many times. Right now it's still edible. They're all green. So in July, that's going to be toast. In July, that choco is going to look like this. Like that. That's the choco in the heart of winter or a late winter. But right now it still has a lot of green. So, yeah, I've been out here for about two and a half hours. And the reason, guys, as I said before, is because I waited for sunshine. It's been nasty the last week. Nothing but grey clouds, London weather. Just imagine London. Yeah, it's been like London for the last week. Oh my gosh, those, those people there, they put up with that crap for five months a year. I had five days of London weather and, guys, suicidal thoughts. <laughs> Just kidding. Here I am in my uh, summer outfit. Yeah, in, in the middle of winter. In the middle of winter, I'm in my uh, summer outfit, guys, because it's sunny, there's no wind, or very little, and the temperature, I believe, is around 16 or 17. Wow, it's beach weather. There's some more of the, um, the fern, which I pruned. I gave it to the apple. Pepino, I pruned the pepino, gave it to the Angela Mulberry. Wow, what a beast this is going to be. Right? Pepino. Over here. I went around and like shaved it. All around. Because it was coming out to here. It was coming out to here, guys. The pepino. Out of the um, bed. There's a bed there. So it's, what it does is, the pepino starts to put itself in the ground and, and root itself. See, these are all self-rooting. So, pepino is very invasive. Look at these roots from the pepino. See those roots? Those. It just does its own thing. It's like, screw you. Uh, even if you prune me, I'm still going to grow back. So, this is a beast. A beast plant. The pepino. Um, don't be afraid to butcher it and uh, torture it. <laughs> Look, it's fruiting in the heart of winter with um, and flowering. A lot better than the red daca banana. Yeah, so with uh, close to uh, freezing temperatures at night. So, there's some more uh, cuttings from the jasmine and the fern, which I gave to the new ice cream bean tree. Right? Um, oops. What else have I done today, guys? Oh my gosh. There's the uh, the new white chatut mulberry, which I put in the ground five, six months ago, and all its mulch from the garden, right? That's what I feed my trees, guys. Just mulch. I don't buy fertilizer. You've asked me many times, what do I feed my trees? Mulch, cuttings, the kind of stuff I did today. These. These, guys these things here from my work the last two hours of work that's what I feed my trees um, and I get good results look at the lemon tree it's never been fertilized I haven't fertilized this lemon tree in 25 years and the branches are ready to snap with all that fruit so when people tell you oh you haven't fertilized your citrus that's why it's not performing come on guys all you need to do is use mulch and compost. You don't need to go and buy fancy fertilizer from the big box store. You can if you want to, but I prefer to keep it organic. The Jerusalem artichoke here, as you can see, it's all finished. These are ready to um, cut, cut away, optionally. I can just leave it and harvest. But uh, I haven't done that yet because I've been so busy. Look at this... Um, these spores that are growing along the wood here. Now let's see where the um, Jerusalem artichokes are. There they are. There's one. It's gone green though. There's plenty of them. There's a white one. This one here. These are so delicious. They say it causes gas. I've never had that experience guys. Maybe because I'm vegan. I don't know. I've never had gas issues with artichokes. Yeah, so these are ready. Also the, um, the yacon are ready, right? But can you see how they're still green? 
and the yacon that has been um, chopped chopped away has grown back in winter look winter leaves on the yacon wow what a what a champion so uh what else what else what else the cucumbers are history of course these are cucumbers from summer see how much cucumber likes the cold <laughs> huh i think we're twins mr cucumber okay the temperature we didn't look at the temperature oh and the other thing i did is i pruned back the um the tree lettuce the first ever cut back on the tree lettuce because it's uh winter and they're not happy the tree let we're not in cans where you can grow tree lettuce all year look they're pretty crappy here in the um, cooler climate so i gave them a chop one two three right with all their flowers that one there i left i didn't cut that one down that uh, tree lettuce timor lettuce it's got many names all the bananas are still green the banana leaves can you believe it guys there's no yellow leaves yet and uh we're almost in the heart of winter pretty amazing look green except for this leaf here i left that on purpose because of the stake i don't want the stake to slide down so it's like bracing it's like a little brace it's the only yellow leaf in the whole of fruitopia so uh yeah green everything's green like summer just like in summer guys the only thing that's not like summer is the temperature let's go and check it out it said uh 16 on the uh app weather weather zone let's see what my uh thermometer here says <sighs> time is uh 2 2 p.m two in the afternoon let's see how they got it and it is 16 yeah 16 celsius that's around 60 fahrenheit 60 fahrenheit and sunny mm. beautiful <sighs> like i said we could easily go to the beach today and uh even swim believe it or not in melbourne in june wow that's like uh, going for a swim um in december in florida or california would you would you there's all the lemons again right never fertilized uh never sprayed never no, no main well maintenance the only maintenance is to hold back the abundance that's the maintenance hold back the abundance that's it and of course clean up the mess when everything goes um <laughs> goes crazy with um, a storm a storm can easily knock all these off it's out of my hands guys yeah more bananas with green leaves so we've had about a dozen days sorry nights a dozen nights with temperatures below um 40 fahrenheit um below 40 uh, sorry below five celsius two three four five celsius a dozen of them a dozen nights and yet the bananas aren't affected yet the only damage i have in all of fruitopia is this pinkerton avocado that's the only tree that has damage on it from that 38 celsius day we had in early march damn what a sook this is the only tree that's showing major um leaf damage but it's going to come back I, i'm not really concerned because look look it's coming back for um for spring new new growth on every single point so no, nothing to worry about guys look see that new leaves and then it'll flower in um in uh, september <clears throat> so what else have i done oh yeah the big boy the one that giving me um um stress this 24 year old fig tree the first one i planted here 
I've decided to um, try to uh, get rid of it the easy way. Instead of getting out picks and shovels and chainsaws and a lot of hard work, uh, I decided to inject it with some unfriendly uh, material. And let's see how that goes over winter. Right? A slow farewell to our um, oldest fig tree. So if it works, then I can prune everything away. I was going to prune everything first and then do that. But like I said, guys, um, I don't like doing a lot of work in winter. I feel lazy. That's too much work. That, that's at least two hours work minimum uh, of pruning and then uh, doing that job. That was easy. That took me 20 minutes. Easy. The easy path. And here, as you can see, guys, a lot more bananas that are still green and the curry is still green look it's like it's summertime green everything is green it's amazing green 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 so grow bananas guys easy look does this look like the middle of winter to you in melbourne huh with uh two celsius and four celsius at night without any protection there's no protection here there's no heaters actually there's bananas ready to um almost ready to pick see them back there look the glen mango looks like it wants to um get an early head start on um spring Right? Look, new growth on almost every tip. And this is not protected, this, uh, this mango tree. No protection at all, except for, you know, it's up against uh, a fence. But nothing overhead. Look, guys. I see a couple of little dots in there. See those little dots? Those, those two dots there, <laughs> that's cold damage. So it's like sneezing. That's like a mango sneeze. Those two red dots. Ouch! Achoo! Yeah, that's cold. But overall, it's good. Overall, it's good, guys. Yeah. So it's going to get colder, though. July is the, is the meanest month. It's going to get about two degrees colder. That's when we have um, the highest chance of a zero, of a freeze. So, I'm not going to even mow the lawn. Mow what? It's only like this, this high. Just leave it green. Looks nice. Right? I pulled out all the old lettuce. So, that's ready for winter vegetables. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it now. Now's the time to do it, by the way. Again, lazy. I left the uh, eggplant plants in there. I should really pull them out because they look spent. And they're going to get even worse in, in July, right, to, to reclaim a, another bed. <clears throat> and this bed has been available for over a month, and I haven't used it yet. So I've got three veggie beds that I could st start planting in today. Um, yeah, and even these driveway bananas in pots have got very little cold weather damage, except for the tips right up here tips 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 but in here in the heart in the heart guys it's um looks like summer right does that look like summer or winter to you hmm so and mind you this area here is the worst area in the whole garden as far as wind Nasty, the nastiest location uh, at Fruitopia is right here where I'm pointing now. The coldest, the windiest, the nastiest. And all we have is that. Pretty good. But like I said, July is going to be the slasher. <laughs> July comes and slashes everything that um, is weak. All the weakness 
is taken care of. Which is good because that also eliminates all the uh, fruit fly and all the um, bugs. So we have the red chatut ready to drop its leaves. This only loses its leaves for one month. They drop in July and in August all the new leaves come. So it's only it's partially deciduous. Right? Um, what else guys? What else have I done? That's about it actually. I haven't done anything else in the front here. Uh, other than wanting to mow the lawn. But I thought why mow it? Leave the um, grass. It's going to act like a carpet. Right? Except for this is a bit annoying. I forget what these are called. This comes up every winter. And takes over everything. There's the old lettuce that I pulled out. From the veggie bed. Gave it back to the uh, cherry moya as mulch. Yeah, this here is nasty. Oh, look at it here. Under the bananas. Wow, very, very invasive. Look at that. But that's all right, guys. The, the thing is, nature takes care of it. When it gets hot in summer and there's no rainfall, this here is the first to die. That's the first to go. <clears throat> and along here, I just mow it with a lawnmower. Just trying to minimize the amount of effort and work that I have to put in because of all the projects. When you add them all up, it's too much work. Um, when you want to do everything perfectly. Hey, but you forgot this. And you shouldn't do that. And you should do this. Um, really, you come and do 200 projects perfectly. Come on, guys. Uh, I do the best I can with every project, including weeding. That's we it's called weeding. Weeding is uh, no one's favorite thing to do. Right? Yeah. Weeding. Should have done this and you forgot that. Come on. Get real. Real life fruitopia means exactly that. Doing things... The real way, guys, not the um, so-called perfect way, which doesn't exist. Unless I had 10 people here. If I had a team, yeah, you go and do that, I'm assigning you. You go and do that, you go and do this, and everything is perfect. Um, sorry, we don't have that option here. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's today's video. Just uh, an update. Oh, wow, I never saw this. The Vernon. It's got a fruit. How did I not see that all winter? I can't believe it. The Vernon has one fruit. The only fruit for 2024. What? Surprise, surprise, surprise. It looks like it's um, fermented. Wow. That's what happens when the tree is bushy. When it's bushy like this, you can't see anything if it's green, right? The reason I saw it is because it's uh, yellow. <laughs> and the reason I didn't see it the last five months is because it was green. It was green, guys. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. Wow, what a pity. It's got really delicious deep flavor but mm, it's dripping on me unfortunately it's overripe wow that tastes so good it's got um my favorite well one of my favorite white sapote flavors which only the vernon the vernon and i think the sue bell the vernon and the sue bell have it's very unique. The lemon gold and the Wilson don't have that flavor. It's like um, caramel. Yeah, it's a caramel flavor. Nice. All right, guys. Oh, wow. The um, ah, gee, the calistamen is blooming. I didn't even notice it till now. See, guys, I'm home all day, every day, and I didn't even notice this till today. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's beautiful. 
nice. What a beautiful treat for the middle of winter. Nice. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't. And we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.